Welcome to Oxen Group Webinars. My name is David Ristow. I'm the CEO, President, and Founder of the Oxen Group. The Oxen Group is an online investment analysis and investment opportunities uh, firm. Um, you can check us out at www.theoxengroup.com uh, for all of your investment ideas. Um, so we're going to be talking about today in today's webinar. Uh, we have Basically, uh, each weekend we like to put together a, a stocks to watch kind of list. Um, there's different things that are going to be going on this week that, that we like, um, different stocks that might be able to make a bounce or look like they might have some weakness ahead of them or, um, you know, et cetera, or things that we think might be interesting going into the week. So um, we have uh, Darden Restaurants, um, Oil and USO we're looking at, um, Amazon, uh, AMZN, uh, IBM. And then four retail companies um, that we'd like to talk about just in case something happens. Um, that's uh, Zoomies, um, Limited, uh, Macy's, and VF Core. Um, so, Darden Restaurants. Um, we have, uh, you know, th this stock is a uh, one that we like because of uh, the earnings uh, possibility from them. Um, you know, we always like to look at earnings. Um, they're a big catalyst for stocks, they, they, they can move stocks a lot. Um, and Darden Restaurants is one of those companies that seems that like they may be um, able to um, make a move um, into earnings. Uh, the company um, is expected to report EPS of 1.00 over 1, 0.81 year over year. Um, and you can see into their last um, several earnings reports, um, they've had some pretty nice movement here um, while they did drop off afterwards. And then um, once again, you see here they had this nice move here, um, and so you've seen you know there is some strength uh, moving into the numbers um, for Darden restaurants over the last two. Um, and if you go all the way back to um, the October, um, you did get this three-day move that was to the upside there. So um, overall, you did get a pretty good uh, move for um, all these um, this stock about two or three days. So they're moving. They're supposed to report earnings on Thursday. Um, we like what we really like about this stock is, um, I think we're expecting a pretty good week this week coming out. Um, you know, I, I think Monday might be weak. I, I see us, yeah, definitely probably having some struggles there. But uh, as we move into this Greece vote, um, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, we definitely are going to have some potential to really, uh, really move to the upside. If this Greece vote is good, it's going to drop the dollar. It's going to raise the euro. It's going to be very good for stocks. Um, we'll give a lot of catalysts to the market, and, and the something that the the market needs is a catalyst right now. Um, so we would expect, you know, that would line up really well with the trend we've seen in Darden restaurants in the past. Um, they're right, they're at their 50-day moving average. They got the 20-day right below them, um, so setting up pretty nicely with a lot of good volume coming into it as of late. Um, with oil. Uh, we see there's two plays here. We wouldn't mind shorting oil this week if, if things go badly. Um, at the same time, we wouldn't mind buying oil too on the reverse side. You know, there's a lot of reasons to go long oil this week. You got July 4th coming up this weekend, which is historically a good for oil. You've got, um, you know, oil's at that $90. It's been able to hold that $90 target. Um, and then if you get the grease vote, that's going to be good. That's going to definitely drop um, the dollar price, dollar down, which will help raise oil prices. At the same time, on the flip side, uh, the supplies, the, that supply did come in. Uh, we will see inventories coming in this week. That could, you know, the, the combination of inventories coming in with, you know, the thought of, well, we got this oversupply. Additionally, the grease vote, if it goes poorly, that will raise the strength of the dollar even further. And a drop below 90 would probably lead to a pretty good pullback, maybe to 87 or 88 before the end of the weekend. Um, and so we do see that. Um, we like maybe if we get um, a move above 92, we think selling the $35, I'm sorry, selling the $36 puts would be a pretty good move on USO. Um, if we get a jump below 90, we would maybe look to uh, sell those. Uh, $36 calls or maybe $35 calls depending on how much that move would drop USO. Um, another company we've been looking at, we want to get into, we just haven't been able to, is Amazon. Um, you know, this stock has shown some pretty good strength as of late. Had some nice up days um, and then dropped and then another nice up day and dropped. And, you know, the trend, the short-term trend has definitely been to the downside a little bit. Um, since the middle of May, but that seems to have broken as the stock moved down to the bottom part of its price channel. That price channel is coming up. 
the 50 day, or the excuse me, the 50 day yes moving average is coming up. It's been holding that 50 day moving average um, at each close, um, and so we do like that 50 day moving average to stay. Um, you know, there hasn't been a lot of reasons to buy anything lately. So if we can get any kind of uh, catalyst to the upside, we think uh, Amazon could be ready for a little bit of a takeoff back up to about 1, 195. Um, which would give you about a 2% gain on the stock. And then you could also um, obviously do some options play to get a little bit more gain, maybe selling like the 190 uh, puts or um, buying maybe like the 195 calls would be a pretty interesting play there. Um, also, uh, uh, to the downside, we like possibly IBM. Uh, you know, the, this stock has got an upper price channel. It's going to have a lot of support right below it. Um, it's about that 164 level, but this stock did close below its 20-day moving average on Friday, dropped below it, couldn't hold it, um, and then, you know, that that price channel held pretty strongly, but uh, this stock has done four straight uh, lower tops um, in a row, and it just seems like this stock is not able to get a lot of strength going for a pretty strong red volume coming in on Friday as well. Um, if we have another week day, we see a drop below 165 to 164. Uh, we would definitely be uh, looking at uh, probably a uh, a bit of a a bit of a pullback in IBM, and we would probably be looking to sell maybe like the 170 calls there. Um, that would be a pretty good play in our opinion. Um, also, uh, <clears throat> we did like we do like the setup for a possible retail set, a continued uh, move up to the upside on the retail sector. The reason we like that is because you look at the retail sector, and what's what's going to help the retail sector? Lower oil prices, better personal income, better personal spending. Well, on Monday we get personal income and personal spending coming out, and we also have going to have a big swing in oil prices one way or the other. Looks like it's going to be to the downside. This could be pretty good for if we can get personal income and personal spending to move up, we can get oil prices down. That's going to be a, a nice duality that's going to create a sort of catalyst for the retail sector. And there's a couple companies that we like. The best one I like right now is Zoomius. Zoomius is right there at its 20-day moving average. That 20-day moving average is looking to be broken. Hasn't been able to break it. But if we get a nice, uh, a nice day in retail on Monday, this could definitely break. And if it broke its 20-day moving average, it could probably break out. Uh, maybe close that gap back, back up to about 26 in the next couple sessions here. Um, other stocks we like are, are Limited, uh, Macy's, and also we'll be taking a look at um, VF Corps, uh, the maker of uh, North Face, and then the recent buyer of Timberland. It's been on a tear lately, and more good news would just lend them to move even higher, it seems. So lots of good things um, out there, lots of choices, lots of decisions to be made, obviously. Um, we'll just kind of have to see how things go. I mean, it's been seven to eight, seven out of eight down weeks in a row, um, and it's just it's tough out there. Um, we continue to try and try and recommend things and, and get into things, um, and, and it's been hard. Um, but stick with it, and this is gonna, you know, ho hopefully we'll just. Get That's gonna do it for us for today. Visit us at www.theactiongroup.com. Email us at contact at theactiongroup.com. Call us at one eight hundred seven zero nine one one six zero.